vocals and I'm trying to find just the sweet spot that goes right along with with that and uh, 
that's what I aim to do when, I, when I'm playing, especially. The, I'm very uh, vocalist oriented. I love playing around the vocals and, and using that as like the, the, the basis of what I'm going to play. So um, uh, I'm going to open up for some questions. Can anybody? Uh, yes. All right, I got a question to ask. I am the singer, and I play hard. So, you can't do both at the same damn time and all that. So, it's nice what you're saying, doing the embellishment. I had the wonderful opportunity to play here in jam the other night, and uh, a young lady was singing, and it was so nice to be able to play, uh, to embellish what she was doing. But when you're just, you know, you are the lead singer, you know, there, it's so difficult. And even, so even when I record, I will throw in the embellishments and do that. And then someone heard my stuff and said, Dave, you got the vocal going and then you're doing the harmonica at the same time. So you can't do that live, you know. So sometimes you got to lay out. But there's a whole other art form to this. See, I'm not a vocalist, so I've... In my career, I've hired wonderful vocalists to, to play on my records, and to and I've partnered up with people that, like Dave Riley and Jimmy Primetime Smith, and occasionally with Alabama Mike and, and some other great uh, vocalists, Bob Margolin and John Primer. We've we've all I've been able to have the accompanist role, but the average person who plays harmonica probably is also a singer, which I'm not. I I just know um, that that's probably not my heater. Um it's probably not my thing to be a singer, unfortunately. I wish I felt better about that, but in the company of some of the great singers I've been around, I wouldn't even want to attempt that. But, you know, you're lucky that you're a singer because then you can also call off the songs and lead the band through that. And so, again, with those little Walter records and the Sonny Boy records and George Harmonica Smith records and, you know, uh, both Sonny Boys, of course, Big Walter. Big Walter, you know, was a singer, but he almost was a singer as a second instrument because right. his, his harmonica was such a, a strong voice, stronger than his actual voice, but he made some beautiful vocal recordings and made some fantastic things. But I think that that's a great asset that you also say. I'm really only able to speak from my experience as an accompanist, so pardon me for that. So. Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, Jimmy Reed, uh, Jimmy Reed style, where he does the upper register. Yes. So I had the pleasure of meeting Jimmy down the Oh. I was going too late. I played blues song for about 35 years. Very cool. Uh, What's your so name, I, by the way? I'm Dr. B. I sit in. And uh, but I, first, my first time here, and I'm loving it. But my question is, and I only brought six with me, but I got more. But the question is, Jimmy Reed, when I met him, uh, he plays that upper register. And there's some people that do. Yeah, I, I, I attempt it, you know. Yeah. It's, but it's Jimmy had something really amazing, and because he played harmonica in a neck rack while he was playing yeah. guitar, then there was a, a inherent sloppiness in how that worked. And at the same time, he was like such a great phraser. But it, it just his whole Jimmy Reed was like his own planet because he, <laughs> he had this easy going way about him. And probably one of the most popular blues artists, the most hit-making blues artists ever, because his music was so accessible to everybody. And everybody felt like, well, this is right on my front porch. But um, you know, I love that that first position. That of course is at, at A harp and A. Well, let's play a little, a little of that for this gentleman here. Um, I guess Mike's uh, not around. Oh, yes. Is what? I'm sorry? Amplification. You know, using the, the amplification. Oh, amplification. Okay. Yeah, because I can't hold a bullet. It's a little too big for my hand. And um, what I have I have a harmonica honker, which they don't make anymore. They fit right on your finger. And These are pretty cool little microphones right what here. Are they? Um, this is a, a little sure, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure the model number, but. Um, is it for a harmonica? Um, it, it's got a cool thing. I'll play. I'll, I'll switch mics real quick. Okay. 